Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Rodeja. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present the weekly contest 299. The problem that I will be talking in this video is maximum score of sliced array and in case if you are interested in more solutions of the weekly contest, those are also stated in the description so do check them out. But now let's focus our attention on to 2321. So here in this question we are given two arrays nums1 and nums2 both have equal length. So what do you need to do? You need to identify the maximum score that can be generated of all the possibilities and what are those possibilities? So you are free to do one kind of an operation. So here they have mentioned that the operation can be done once or you may not do the operation. So either you can perform certain operation on it or you can skip it totally. But what is that operation? Let's talk about it. So you can select a range in the in nums1 or nums2 and you have you can swap the elements from nums1 starting from the left coordinate to the right coordinate with the sub array in nums2 starting from the same left coordinate and the right, right coordinate for example here you are given two arrays 1 2 3 4 5 and 11 12 13 14 15 you can choose two coordinates left and right and you can swap the their values from nums2 to nums1 or from nums1 to nums2 what do you need to identify you need to identify the maximum possible score that can be generated and you may choose to do this operation and you may not choose to do this operation but it can only be done once without further ado let's quickly walk through the presentation section and i'll be talking about uh, various examples and the algorithm to go about it in step by step manner so let's quickly shoot for it lead code 2321 it's a hard level question on lead code however i feel it's a medium level question and in case if you have any doubt understanding this problem or if you want to ask anything from me in general please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are stated below so let's get started let's take the same example that was specified in the question and here the nums1 array is given to us as 20 40 20 70 30 and nums2 array is given to us as 50 20 50 40 20 so let's try and calculate the total sum of these two arrays so 20 plus 40 is 60 60 plus 20 is 80 80 plus 70 is 150 150 plus 30 is 180 so let's write 180 over here and let's calculate the total sum of nums 2 as well so 50 plus 20 is 70 70 plus 50 is 120 120 plus 20, 40 is uh, 160 160 plus 20 is again 180 so both of them says that the total sum happens to be equal to 180. Now let's try and think about one possibility of answer where we are swapping the elements. And let's assume that the range that we are swapping from starts from this particular index. This is my leftmost index and this is my rightmost index. And I'm considering my base array to be nums1. So as per the question, you are free to do this operation only once. And what will be the eventual nums1 array after the swap? So these three elements would be gone and it will be replaced by these three elements. So how much delta difference is it is causing to nums1? So let's try and evaluate it. So how many elements are go going? 70 is going, 20 is going and 40 is going. That means uh, there is a reduction in value by 70 units, by 20 units, by 40 units and there is an increase of value by 20, 50 and 40 units. So let me just write that as well. So for 50 plus 40 plus 20. So what ev eventually did happen? So this gets cancelled by this, this gets cancelled by this. There is a total reduction in value of 20 units from the previous total sum that we calculated the updated sum turns out to be 160 and the elements are something like this 20 20 50 40 30 this is the updated state of nums1 array so if you carefully see then this is giving a worse result than the previous one that we had so this solution won't be accepted or this won't be part of the final answer because previously we computed an array that gives us a higher sum. Now let's talk about another possibility of solution which is which is this one. Our leftmost index in the second case starts from 50 and the rightmost index is again ending over here. So that means we are replacing this entire range from nums1 and adding elements from nums2 over nums1 so these three would be gone and it will be replaced by 
50, 20 and 50. So the updated array would look something like this. We have 50, we have 20, we have again 50 followed by the remaining element from nums1 which is 70 and 30. So how much delta it is adding in value to the total sum that nums1 previously had. So it previously had 180. So let's calculate the delta up. So that delta would turn out to be we are removing 20, 40 and 20. So let's write those up. We are removing 20, we are removing 40 and we are removing 20 again. And we are, we are adding, we are adding 50, 20 and 50. So let's write 50, 20 and 50. So how much value would be affected? Let's calculate that up. So 20 gets cancelled by 20. Uh, 40 plus 20 is 60. So and 50 plus 50 is 100. So minus 60 plus 100 gives you 40. 40 plus 180 gives you 220. So the other possibility of answer turns out to be 220. And when you will compute all possibilities, then you yourself will see that this is the final solution. The maximum sum that can be generated in this array is when we are replacing the first three elements from nums2 into nums1 and the generated array gives us the maximum possible sum where the elements are 50, 20, 50, 70 and 30. Now comes the problem, how can we algorithmize this up? We will use an extension to Cadence algorithm. So in the first go what we are going to do, we will treat nums1 as the base array and we will create another array where we, where we will identify if each element gets replaced from nums2 in nums1 how much data increase or decrease it's gonna contribute so let me just create a new array and 50 minus 20 gives you 30 that means replacing this element 20 by 50 will add on a delta of 30 units so let's write 30 over here 20 minus 40 is minus 20 so it will reduce the value in nums1 by 20 units 50 minus 20 is 30 units that means it will increase the value by 30 units 40 minus 70 gives you minus 30 that means it will reduce the value in nums1 by 30 units 20 minus 30 gives you minus 10 that will means it will reduce the value by 10 units and nums1 array and the total sum that we have previously computed is 180 units now what we are going to do we will simply apply cadence algorithm and we will look out for the maximum subarray sum that can be generated in this entire array that will give us the left and right coordinates so let's get started the first element that we have is 30 so let's create a variable called running sum and let's update it to 30 since it's greater than 0 it's a happy case let's proceed ahead next we see is minus 20 minus 20 plus 30 is 10 so let's update it to 10 let's proceed ahead again its value is greater than 0 we are it's a happy case 10 plus 30 is 40 so let's update other running sum to 40 and let's write 40 over here as well let's proceed ahead next we see is minus 30 minus 30 plus 40 is 10 so let's update this value to 10 the running sum has been updated to 10 let's proceed ahead minus 10 plus 10 gives you 0 so uh, the, the running sum gets updated to 0 and while iterating over this entire array what is the maximum running sum that you observe the maximum running sum that we observe is 40 that means if we replace elements within this boundary that I'm just highlighting right now 30 minus 20 and 30 will give us the maximum answer with respect to nums1 having as a base array so uh, what is the delta increase this sub array is contributing it is contributing an increase in 40 units so 180 plus 40 gives you 220 and this is in sync with our expectation what could have been the other possibility of answer? The other possibility of answer could have been where we are treating nums2 as the base array. So we should be doing exact same thing wherein we will be treating nums2 as the base array. We will again create the diff array wherein we will assume the elements from nums2 are getting, nums1 are getting onto nums2. So let's go ahead and do that for the sake of completeness. The first element is 20. Here the first element is 50. If we replace 50 by 20 it will cause a decrease in value by 30 units so let's write 30 let's proceed ahead next we have 40 and 20 so it will cause an increase in value by 20 units next we have 20 and 50 so it will decrease the value by 30 units next we have 70 and 40 it will cause an increase in value by 30 units next we have uh, and 30 and 20 it will cause an increase in value by 10 units 
so let's proceed ahead and let's calculate the max running sum observed in this uh, diff sub array so let's do that the first element here is minus 30 since the value goes in negative as per the code cadence algorithm whenever it happens the value goes the running sum value goes in negative we are gonna reset this to zero so the value gets reset to zero by default let's proceed ahead that simply means we are gonna discard this entry up absolutely and uh, the next element that we see is 20 so 20 plus 0 is 20 so the first possibility of answer is this one let's proceed ahead next we see is th minus 30 so minus 30 plus 20 is minus 10 again the value is going in negative that means we are not gonna consider this as a, a possible subarray for our answer so let's proceed ahead uh, the next element that we see is 30 and since the previous possibility was rejected we are gonna reset this to 0 so 0 plus 30 gives you 30 so the other possibility of running sum is 30 let's proceed ahead next we see is 10 so 10 plus 30 is 40 so the last possibility is 40 the maximum one that you observe across this entire array out of 20 30 and 40 is 40 that means uh, the maximum contiguous sub array uh, is of 40 units and when i add 40 plus the total sum of elements in nums2 that is 180 it gives me 220 which is in sync with our expectation so coincidentally it matched but there could be cases where the there is the nums2 array being treated as the major sub array gives you the answer over nums1 so you have to consider both the possibility and this is the crux of the problem so let's quickly move on to the coding section and conclude this up so here I've created few variables. N means the number of elements in nums1 array and both the arrays are same number of elements. So N represents that. The next one is array1 uh, acting as a major array uh, and uh, the other uh, uh, variable is array2 acting as a major array. Moving ahead, I've created the diff array of size N. I iterate over all the elements of nums1 and nums2 and calculate the total sum that exists across nums1 and set it in the variable named array1 major and similarly i do it for array2 as well now let's focus our attention on to applying cadence algorithm wherein array1 is being treated as the major array and uh, we are calculating the delta increase that what is gonna happen if we add elements from nums2 array to nums1 so here this is what i have exactly done the same diff of i represents num2 minus nums1 for each ith index once i have calculated this diff array i apply cadence algorithm to it so this is nothing but cadence algorithm and i identify the max running sum value that exists so once i do that i uh, simply add that max value to array1 major and this becomes first possibility of answer and again in the second go i am treating second array as a major element i again calculate the delta wherein the elements from array 2 would be deleted and array 1 would be added i have updated my diff array appropriately i apply cadence algorithm and calculate the max running sum value once i do that i the answer would be uh, the maximum of array 1 major comma array 2 major so let's try this up accepted the time complexity of this approach is order of n and space complexity of this approach is again order of n with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for being it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question